before we dive into the webinar, I just want to give a little bit of background about e-payments. So this year, Viewpoint introduced Viewpoint e-payments. It's a fully integrated solution with Vista. It automates and streamlines AP payment processes through a single payment file technology that allows contractors like yourself to save valuable time in the back office. It reduces the high cost of paper checks and eliminates ACH account entries, all while generating additional virtual card rebates. Now, Viewpoint ePayments is the evolution of two company strategic relationship, which began when Viewpoint partnered with Envoice Pay in late 2017. So as you can see, both of our companies are listed on the cover page of this webinar deck. It seems to us, just based on feedback so far, that once a customer implements ePayments, they're like, why did I wait so long? This is saving me so much time and money. That said, we thought it would be appropriate to launch a webinar that talks to the seven myths of payment automation so you yourself can separate fact from fiction. Joining me today is Byron Biggins. He is the Vice President of Business Development at Envoice Pay. Uh, Byron, welcome. Thanks, Randy. Excited to be here with you today. So let me go ahead and talk about uh, the there's typically a path that a company takes over time with respect to how they handle AP payments. So they usually start with a very manual check driven process, and then they'll start doing a few electronic payments. And usually that's that's driven by requests from their suppliers. So suppliers don't like checks any more than uh, AP departments like sending them. Uh, and then at some point they'll start to get more serious about electronic payments. And usually they'll work with their bank to start paying a greater percentage of suppliers by ACH or virtual credit card but often this creates more work for an AP department as they now have multiple workflows. They have to have one process for paying suppliers by check. They have to have another process for paying suppliers by ACH. And then if they're doing virtual credit card, they have to have yet another process for that. So we help companies get to where they would really like to be, where they have a single workflow and are using the optimal payment type for each supplier without having to collect and update the supplier's payment information themselves. So let me just, before I jump into these seven myths, just for those that aren't familiar with our solution yet, just wanna give you a real quick overview of, of what it is and what we do. So before we reach out, uh, or I should say, before we launch any payments for you, we're gonna reach out to every supplier you work with and find out what payment methods they will accept, and then uh, collect the information we need from your supplier to be able to execute that electronic payment for you. So once that, uh, supplier enablement process is done, then what happens is in Vista, uh, your workflow is essentially the same as it is today. You're selecting the invoices ready for payment. You're creating that AP work file, but where you would normally go to print a check uh, or, or send an EFT file, instead there's an option now to transmit the file to invoice pay. So that file comes over to us securely. This is a, a fully integrated solution. The integration has been uh, built for over a year and been upgraded and we're, we're always adding enhancements to it. Um, but uh, that file comes to us via the API and then where you see the payments are optimized, what that means is we're always using the payment method that's best for the customer to make that transaction based on what the supplier does accept. So if your supplier accepts a credit card payment, we'll always pay by credit card because not only is that free for you, you actually get money back on each of those transactions. You get a cash rebate back uh, that we pay out monthly. So you actually make money from those transactions. Not all suppliers take cards. So if they don't take card, then we'll ask if they'll take an ACH payment. And if they do, uh, we'll make that uh, payment because it's electronic, it's quick, it's cheap. And if they don't take card or ACH, only then will we send a print check to your supplier and we use your name and logo on it so it looks like it's coming from you. So once we've assigned the right payment type for that transaction, then you have the ability to do uh, payment approvals. Now this is optional functionality, but I think over maybe 98% of our customers actually use this uh, functionality. So you have the ability to stop, hold, or approve that entire batch or individual payments within the batch. Um, and then once the uh, approvals have been made, we pull the funds from your account and push them off to your suppliers using the payment method we've designated for that transaction. And then we do all the follow-up. So um, if there's a card that hasn't processed, we call the supplier and find out why. If there's a check that hasn't cleared, we can follow up. 
If there's any type of error on an ACH, it's up to our team to get that resolved. If your suppliers have questions on payments, those get directed to our team. So we actually put our email and phone number on the remittance so that we're that first line of defense and handle a lot of that tedious work that your AP team would have to do today. And then we push data back into Vista uh, to show uh, the payment date and the method that was used and a reference number on that. So that's just a little overview of, of what our solution is. Here's some of the benefits that customers get out of the solution. So it's a simplified AP payment process. We have a single workflow for all AP payments. It's increased efficiency with reduced errors. It's the financial impact and the uplift we provide. There's significant cost savings by moving from checks, which are expensive, to electronic payments, which are far less expensive. Also, the cash rebates I talked about a minute ago, those far exceed the cost of our solution for every single one of our existing customers. Also, we help you reduce risk because now you no longer have to store the supplier's banking data and we also assume liability for the payment, meaning that once you approve the payment, it's on us to make sure that money gets to the supplier. So if there's any type of error, uh, we get it resolved. If there's any type of fraud, that's not your exposure, that's our exposure. And then lastly, uh, your suppliers appreciate getting paid by invoice pay. They now get a range of payment options. They get very detailed remittances. They get choices on how to receive the remittance. They have a supplier portal where they can go look up the history and status of payments. And then we also have a supplier uh, facing support team. So in addition to our customer support team, we also have a supplier facing team as well. So as Randy mentioned, the reason we're doing this webinar is uh, once customers start using the solution, they are extremely happy. But I think there's a lot of misconceptions in the market about what uh, payment automation actually is. So today we just wanted to go through the most common ones we hear out there and try to dispel any uh, misconceptions that exist. Okay, so Byron, myth number one, we will have less control if we are not signing checks. Yeah, you know, that's a common question we, we get about this is, hey, are we giving up control by moving to electronic payments? But the reality is that we will mimic your current approval process to give you at least the same level of control so our solution is set to uh, handle very sophisticated uh, approval rules or, or um, you know, thresholds around that. So for example, you can tell us that payments under $1,000 don't need any approval, payments above 1,000 need one approver, payments above 10,000 need two approvers, payments above 50,000 can only be approved by the CFO. Uh, basically, whatever rules you have now, we can mimic those. But in addition, the approver no longer has to actually be in the office to sign the check. Uh, they can be remotely and log in securely to our cloud-based uh, system, which in construction is, is very helpful since uh, the people making those approvals aren't always in the office. Great. Myth number two, we can do electronic payments through our bank. Yeah, so this is something we also get this question a lot is why wouldn't we just use our bank for this? So your bank can deliver an electronic payment to your vendor. If you're providing your bank uh, instructions in a very specific format on who to pay, how to pay them, and where to send the money, but what your bank doesn't do for you is they're not really helping you with things that are important for your team, like streamlining the payment process, optimizing the payment method to minimize your costs, uh, following up on each payment so your AP team doesn't have to, and then the bank would never assume liability for the payment to mitigate your risk for you. Myth three, we use positive pay so we don't need to worry about fraud. Yeah, it's it's funny, uh, you know, check fraud is really, really common. You know, we saw in the poll earlier about 15% of you, um, you know, that was a challenge for you. Uh, you know, the positive pay service used by your bank, really all it does is match the account number, the check number, and the dollar amount of the checks, but it still allows for bad actors to compromise that check. Um, and check fraud is, is the most common type of payment fraud out there, but we're also seeing a significant increase uh, recently in ACH fraud, where fraudsters are calling or emailing an AP department pretending to be a vendor who is updating their banking information, and then the money ends up getting sent to the wrong place and not to the supplier, and it's very difficult to get that money back. So we are mitigating these risks because we're actually assuming liability for the payment. So we're obviously uh, taking uh, steps and controls and validations on our side to make sure you know we don't lose the money, 
Um, but from the customer standpoint, it's our risk, not the customers. Wow, that's a big one. Myth four, we don't have the time to implement payment automation. We have too many other initiatives. Yeah, this one's really interesting because we have so many customers that say, God, if I had known how easy that would have been, I would have done that a while ago. Um, you know, implementation itself can take 30 to 45 days for most new customers, but you have to keep in mind that Envoice Pay is doing the heavy lifting during this process. The time required by the customer is really minimal. And the ROI provided, you know, per hour of staff time you're not going to find any other project that will give you such a, har a high ROI as uh, doing this implementation. Myth five, we will lose money because we earn less float. Yeah, so you know, this often we hear this from uh, larger organizations that have a treasury department. And you know, the reality is that the upside of reducing costs and earning a rebate far outweighs any lost float and typically uh, by quite a large margin. So, uh, you know, in order to stand behind this, we would be happy to run a free payment analysis report to show you the numbers. Uh, you would just need to send us your vendor list. And I'll, I'll talk about this uh, a little bit more in a moment, but um, yeah, it's, it's like trading pennies for dollars, basically. Myth six, our vendors will not take a credit card payment. Yeah, a lot of, uh, especially a lot of contractors believe this uh, when we first start talking to them about this concept. And uh, the reality is not all of your vendors will accept credit cards as a form of payment, but many of them do take credit cards for reasons of speed, security, process, or guaranteed funds. So it's our job to figure out which of your vendors will accept, and then uh, you know make sure that you're paying them that way so that you're benefiting from the rebate. So I, I would you know, reiterate what I said before is that for every existing customer we have, the card rebates are greater than the cost of our solution. And there's no reason it wouldn't be for uh, your uh, company as well. And myth seven, our vendors will charge me more to take a card payment. Yeah, you know, most vendors who accept credit card as a form of payment have already accepted credit card fees as a cost of doing business. Like, we're not making them accept credit cards uh, if they don't, but many of your vendors already do, and that's just part of their, uh, you know, what they've already built into their business. So there may be a few vendors who will only take card if they do charge a premium, but in that case, you can decide whether you would rather pay them by card or you'd rather pay them with another payment method like ACH. Again, we, we're about giving choices, uh, not trying to force something down uh, a vendor's throat. So I, I would just say here, you know, if you are interested in uh, actually seeing the monetary value of our solution, you know, we're happy to do a complimentary payment analysis report. And what that means is that if you send us your vendor list, and, and there's a report already set up in Vista to make this really easy, you send us your vendor list along with uh, how much you're paying them and the payment method you're using now. And then we will run this report that's basically an ROI that um, uh, essentially shows uh, which of your suppliers are already in our network. They already take card and ACH. For any suppliers not in our network, we run it against a database we get from MasterCard that tells us the likelihood that supplier will take a card payment. And based on that, plus historical data, we can come up with a very good uh, estimate of what your expected rebate will be and what your cost savings are versus what you're doing today. So we'd be happy to do that for you and just show you what the value of the solution would be. I should say that um, there will be a survey after the webinar and um, should land in your email. So if you're interested in getting the complimentary payment analysis report, just um, say yes when you get the survey and uh, and we'll have someone get in touch with you. Uh, Randy, do you want to talk uh, for a second about uh, Collaborate Conference coming up? Yeah, um, I'm, for those of you out there who have come in years past or have never joined us at Collaborate, uh, just to let you know that registration is open now and it's, it's really a great event for learning, for collaborating with your peers, um, do a lot of networking, and, and I always say the bonus is coming to Portland the best time of the year, right before the rainy season. And so uh, you can see the, uh, 
If you want more information, go to collaborate.viewpoint.com and all the information about registering is there too. And at this point, you still would qualify for the early bird registration special. Great. So lastly, besides the survey you'll get, the other way you can uh, reach out to us is uh, to reach out to James Randalls at Viewpoint. Uh, so his email is james.randalls at viewpoint.com. And uh, he will be able to uh, provide you the instructions to uh, pull your vendor list and send that over to us. And, uh, and then we'll run that payment analysis report for you. Yeah, and uh, as a reminder, this webinar was recorded and we will send the link out to everyone. And uh, Byron, I don't know, it looks like you are so thorough that we're, we, uh, oh. Okay. Here's a question. Here we go. If we only wanted to use the ACH functionality for certain vendors, is that doable? So I'm not 100% sure I understand the question, but uh, what I think you're asking is, um, if you wanted to designate which of your vendors uh, you want to use for ACH, could we do that? And, and the answer is absolutely. So um, our standard process is to reach out to every single supplier you work with and find out what payment types they do accept so we can optimize that for you. Um, but if you have certain vendors where you know you want to pay them by ACH, uh, we can absolutely do that. Um, so uh, our system is very flexible and we can handle um, you know, certain exceptions like that. Okay, well, again, I'd like to thank everyone for taking time out of their day to join us. Thank you, Byron, so much for going through those myths. I hope everyone now can separate fact from fiction. And with that, um, we'll give you back the rest of your day. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.